Right. I was, um, uh, I first started writing poetry when I was, I guess, about 15, 16. Um, I'd been writing lyrics for a band and people kept saying to me, the, the lyrics are really good, but they weren't so impressed by my singing. So I, I started to just, just to write the lyrics and, and to put them out in the world as poems. Um, and I was very lucky, I had a teacher who encouraged me to send them off to magazines. And my editor, um, Neil Astley at Blood Axe, actually spotted some of my poems uh, in a magazine and wrote to me saying, did I have a collection um, when I was still in sixth form, which was just an unbelievable stroke of luck. Um, but I was very lucky to have that support early on from my teacher, from, from Neil at Blood Axe. Um, and it changed the whole course of my life, I guess. It made me think which I'd never thought before that I could be a writer and I, I could have a career as a poet. Uh, and I think it's really important. Um, I'm always very keen to be involved in things that encourage young writers and that give them that kind of validation and recognition and say, yes, this is possible, you know, you've got talent. How hard is it to write a poem? Um, it's, well, it's, that's difficult to pin down, isn't it? Sometimes it's very easy. Sometimes inspiration just hits you and, uh, and sometimes, it's, sometimes it takes years. Um, there's, a, there's a famous story about Elizabeth Bishop having a poem pinned up on her wall for like 12 years, I think it was, just waiting for one word and then it came to her one day. Um, what really impressed me with the winning poem, with Rosalind's um, poem, was that, you know, obviously the, it was full of what felt like quite raw passion and emotion, but also she'd obviously worked at it after that initial draft, through various drafts, and, and made it into something. Um, tight and beautiful and intricate and I, I could see that a lot of time and effort had actually gone into that. And this, this is about poetry and medicine. What do you think about that as a topic for somebody who's still at school? Um, I think it's a, a brilliant topic in that it's about life and death. It's, it, it automatically makes you think about the big important things in life. Um, and being a teenager as well, it's a time when your body is changing in all these um, interesting ways, so I guess that gives us lots of lots of subject matter. Um, on the other hand, you, you do hope that young writers aren't necessarily having to go through um, the hospital system and having all these medical experiences, but I was really impressed with the, the bravery of some.